Good morning guys! It is Thursday morning. It is around 8-ish. Uh, I'm heading out. I have a whole bunch of things on my agenda today. Uh, and I will be working in the afternoon when I get home. <laughs> because there's a lot of doctor's appointments and stuff. And I need to get them done today. So um, first some blood tests and some doctor's appointments. And yeah, it's going to be a long day. But that's how it is. Uh, so far this morning I have edited my hair tutorial. I didn't have time to do the voiceover, which I will be doing when I get home. Oh, my beautiful blue snow. It's so nice when it's kind of clean on the table. However, um, yeah, need to fix this too. I picked out the colors that I needed for my little project because I'm taking that with me. I'm going to see if I can fit it into my handbag, otherwise I have to take my backpack. Uh, however, there were a couple of colors that I didn't have in my boxes or couldn't find in my boxes. So I dug out those two bags, which is like 150, 200 skeins of DMC that I got in the States it's so much cheaper there uh, but I'm going to need to go um, through them and I don't really have time so I will do that later so hopefully I won't be needing the four colors that I don't have actually I uh, wrote every color down on my little pad and then I circle the ones I didn't have in my other projects but hopefully the colors will come in I know that a few of them are actually attached to a project that is out and about uh, but the threads in that project uh, are not in my kind of sheet sheet on which colors I have so yeah um, that is so there should be in the bags yeah that was that I was gonna say oh uh, I don't know if you can see my t-shirt but it says may the fourth be with you uh, I don't know what I thought when I got a t-shirt that I can wear one day in a year. But yeah, so it is the Star Wars Star Wars Day today, May the 4th. Um, I love that pun. Uh, so I decided that I would go for the May the 4th be with you shirt. I am actually dressed the rest in black. It's not an ode to Kylo Ren or Darth Vader, but yeah, I don't know, being all black and nice. I'm gonna have a pair of maroon shoes though, so that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, but I have to head out and pack all the things and stuff, so good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Well guys, I am home after having a whole bunch of errands and doctors and god knows what um again this was the kind of speciality neurologist that was talk that i was talking about my migraines with uh in in like the idea of can it be the sle uh it is not the sle uh according to them uh my test looks fine i had a couple of limit values but she said they were nothing to worry about um but uh, christopher did comment afterwards when we talked about it that maybe those are the values we actually need to check because if i have a whole bunch of values that just on the limit uh, it might not mean that my values usually are lower, it might actually mean that my values are much, much higher and the limit values means that I'm sick. However, it's, it's nothing they can do anything about. And also, uh, one of the things that uh, I took with me from that was uh, the cortisone would have helped the migraines. Um, it, we rose, uh, rose the, mig uh, the uh, cortisone levels to uh, 7.5 milligrams and that sh I should have seen a change in the migraine when that happened so yeah uh, so again another doctor says well you get, could get to go back to your other doctor 
so it's like no but that's how it is more meetings on monday um i was in the area of one of my favorite uh like art stores so there's craft stores and there's art stores and because i, I was in the neighborhood uh, uh, that probably beautiful beautiful uh, but uh, because I was in the art, in the neighborhood and that I have been wanting to buy some stuff oh I it, it's one thing the own this is the only place where I can get the arches aquarel papers these these this is the art arches um, I had a lot of nice things about this paper and I really wanted to try it out it's A4 sized and it's hilariously expensive I bought or it's probably not super expensive but it felt expensive I bought 12 pages A4 for uh, about $20 something like that $20-$22 um, then I got uh, the friend of Matt, Mark Crilly, and that is the uh, gouache. Uh, so I have a little set of gouache, which is these super cheap gouaches that my sister gave to me when I was like 16. Uh, so they're 20 years old right now, and I don't know how long they would keep really if they're actually good to paint with I tried them out um, but I should probably learn a little bit more more about gouache before I try them out but one of the things that gouache gives you is this kind of chalky finish which I don't not super fan of um, the reason why I'm, I was on the fence with the uh, distress oxidings that have come out uh, is because they give you a shocky finish and then I saw a creation that uh, Kelly oh god I'm gonna give her name right here here here, here I have her uh, Kelly Latevola Latevola La La Latevola uh, yeah probably pronounced it and butchered her name completely uh, but uh, she used them in cre in the creation. I'm like, okay, I'm I need those. Seriously, I need those. Uh, and I've been watching her videos. Uh, she, she's a very talented person. But anyhow, distress, dis digress. See, words don't work right now. I have a very bad migraine, uh, and. Uh, as the day didn't turn out the way I wanted to, the migraine kind of got worse. Uh, I've been uh, out in the sun also, and that actually worsens the migraine. However, I bought this little tube of gouache, and that was uh, actually not that expensive. It goes on the glue, <laughs> and it's 66. Uh, no, uh, the uh, kind of barcode didn't transfer so she looked how much it was and then she just added it to the uh, receipt but it's 66 Swedish so about between six and seven dollars for this little tube but it's white gouache and it's meant to I bought it to add details like white details you can do it with a gel pen uh, but you can also do it with gouache and gouache is actually uh, archival friendly which a um, gel pen isn't but when you do cards you usually don't care but I thought this could be fun to try out so now I have a whole bunch of different mediums to make white and the last little thing that I bought was these these are pencil extenders um, you get two in a pack one is for the eight millimeters and one is for four millimeters seven millimeters I'm gonna see which of them fits my polychromous uh, I don't really need one of these yet, but I found them in the store and I've been uh, thinking about getting one of these um, for a longer period of time. So these are just extenders, you put your pencil in the top of the thingy 
and then you kind of fasten it and then you can use your itty bitty things uh, until you have just have have so much that you can fasten it um, so that's the kind of plan is to use them for that which means that that was my whole haul or what it is it's just some toys uh, I don't usually show everything I buy but I want to and for a fun thing you know I was sitting here doing my cross stitch kind of uh, sorting and stuff and I did a lot of this this morning so kind of screwed up my scheduling for most of the day but uh, I haven't stitched one stitch so far because I left a little bit later than I was supposed to I missed the bus to my first hospital meeting um, or hospital thing which was taking the blood tests uh, on top of that uh, there were more people uh, in the waiting room and it was less nurses than it usually is so I was late out of there which meant I missed the bus and I was late for my second uh, for my doctor's appointment and it kind of destroyed my day so uh, yeah that's how my day has been uh, a little bit stressful um, and in about a quarter my sister will uh, end her job and she will come and pick me up and we will go to more of Scandinavia and sit down at Starbucks and chat. I haven't met her for about a week and I've actually started to get used to going and meeting her and having coffee with her and I really like it so yeah yeah I have a lot of inspiration for creating and crafting and all of those things right now and my craft table looks like this I need to clean it off yeah I just uh, realized when Shane turning the camera around that I've been talking with you for over nine minutes so um, I'll see you when my sister and I have when I come back from my sisters so guys it's time for me to go to bed and um, I went out with uh, my sister or we went to Mall Scandinavia had a cup of coffee and then Christopher came and we had dinner we had Thai for dinner tonight and then we went home oh we we had um, frozen yogurt and they have this honeycomb or something like that it's called uh, I've had frozen yogurt before um, on several different frozen yogurt places and I've been like not really sure if, if it's uh, okay but this was actually really really good frozen yogurt so honeycomb well I don't know it was good so I had that expensive so it's not something I will be having every day and I was a little bit chuffed because um, they have like really big bowls and I just wanted a little bit like this this much of, of like almost every taste so that I can taste the difference but um, the machine didn't work if you didn't put out this much so I had like this much of, of, of almost all of them so it got a little bit more than I was wanting and a little bit more expensive than I had wanted but yeah that's how it is and then I got home um, and I've been stitching or first I organized some things I needed to clean off some of the bobbins because I needed to wind up to um, two more threads and when I say clean off the bobbins I actually remove the text so all my bobbins are plastic bobbins I have the DMC ones because I really like them because they're very thin um, there's a lot of those you can buy on eBay in big packs. They're usually a little bit thicker plastic, um, but I really like these. And I write the number on them uh, in a um, black water fast pen. Um, I have it here, so you can have it. Uh, this is the Stedler Permanent. Um, Lumu color dry safe so it's a water fast light 
fast um, pen. So you can like, you write CDs, on CDs and stuff. This is the fine, so it's an F on it. It says fine, so it's a very thin one. Um, and then I write the numbers. And uh, I've been going through these. Actually, I have a whole stack of them with with the, with the written because I like, ah, but I can use them with the same color when I get the new one. And, and then I realized not so long ago that you can actually remove the color with alcohol. Uh, you can use rubbing alcohol. Uh, in Sweden we have isopropanil. Um, I bought a whole bottle to clean my Copics. Uh, you can only cl clean the barrels and the um, lids with it. Do not touch the nibs, but anyhow. So I just took a little bit of that and I rubbed off um, numbers on a couple of my bobbins and then I wrote new numbers on them and I um, got the thread onto them. It was only two colours. Uh, strangely enough I bought like 119 colours and I still miss two for this project. This is a huge project. I was showing you yesterday I have 12 pieces that is about six by six inches, um, which I then have edged with a little bit of cotton so that I can put them in my eight by eight Q snap because I love to work in my eight by eight Q snap. And then um, I started stitching. I have been stitching. Looky, I have been stitching. Uh, so that's so far that I've gotten with it. I don't have an image for it, so I can't show you that. But yeah, that's have been my evening. Right now I'm going to head to bed. So good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye.